Now, has North Korea hacked into the systems of Sony? The media company systems were hacked in the last few days with footage of upcoming films released onto file-sharing sites. One of the reasons a finger has been pointed at North Korea is that Sony is about to release a comedy about the country's leader, Kim Jong-un. Nice tank! Is that real? It was a gift to my grandfather from Stalin. In my country, it's pronounced Stallone. Take him out. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Well, that film called The Interview has not been leaked. Professor Bill Buchanan leads the Centre for Distributed Computing and Security at Edinburgh Napier University and joins us now. Well, what do you make of that? Uh, well, I think at the present time it hasn't really been proven and I think it's important that... Uh, that anyone is uh, is innocent until proven guilty. So there's two sides to this. There's evidence that some of the code might have been compiled in uh, in a Korean language. But on the other hand, it, it, anyone can really be a, a hacktivist these days from individuals, groups, and obviously nation states. So at this point, it hasn't really been proven. Certainly, looking at it, it doesn't show the signs of uh, North Korean government activity. Uh, the the information that was posted onto the Sony network was from the Guardians of, of Peace uh, network. Uh, also, and who the, are they? Uh, well, no one quite knows of them. They're, they're certainly not linked to, to North Korea at, at, at this point in time. The malware that uh, was used in, in, in this attack has been used in, in other uh, attacks uh, across the world, typically in South Korea, with against some businesses and in the, the Middle East. Uh, in the in the Middle East, it knocked out about thirty thousand computers in a in a in an oil company. So these days, uh, this malware uh, is 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 available to uh, to hackers on the internet, and they can obviously change it uh, depending on the circumstances. I mean, Sony's been pretty careful not to point a finger as well, but I, I don't suppose it'd be too surprising if North Korea was involved in, in some regards because they obviously do not take kindly to any criticism of their leader. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, the uh, it's it's not proven at at at, at this this point, and of the North Korean uh, state government have also not said that. Uh, they have, have not made an announcement yet whether they, they, they were involved uh, at, at all. But uh, I think hacktivism is a, is a, is a tool that, that many individuals used. Sony was hacked many years ago in 2011 uh, with the PlayStation Network where 77 million user accounts were, were compromised. And that was to do with them going after Anonymous who were seen to have hacked the, the, the PlayStation uh, for their, their games. So generally then when people hack into an, organisa an organisation like this, is it to make some kind of political point? It, it could be. Certainly the messages that are appearing on Sony's Twitter account are focusing on their CEO, Michael uh, Linton, uh, and not on the company them, themselves. So uh, it, it's the, the messages that are, are appearing look as if they're not focused on the company, but more on, on the individual and the CEO uh, himself. OK, well, thank you for speaking to us this afternoon. That's Professor Bill Buchanan there from Napier University.